Hey y'all, we have a great conversation for you. Seattle Seahawks' own Chris Carson and Noah Fant stopped by to talk all things football. I made sure to get their take on Russell Wilson moving to the Broncos, and I had to ask them about the Seattle dog. If you don't know what that is, we will explain. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss a thing. Now, here's my chat with Chris Carson and Noah Fant. Chris, I know, of course, everyone has already seen the schedule by now. Week one, Monday Night Football in Seattle. Russell Wilson is going to be returning home. Uh, what was your reaction when the schedule came out, and what type of atmosphere do you think people can expect? Uh, when it came out, I, mean, I kind of knew. Um, the NFL usually does that. Like, when another player trades away or whatever, just moves to another team, they usually put the team that they left from as their first game. So uh, I was prepared for that. Um, it's going to be a good – I'm just looking forward to seeing him. You know what I mean? I haven't seen him in a while, so it's be good to see him. Chris, for you, what are your expectations personally heading into this year, and do you think you're going to be ready for week one? Yeah, that's my mindset. I want to get get right as cl uh, close as possible to the training camp as I can. Um, but, yeah, my mindset is just staying healthy. You know what I mean? That's, that's what I want to do uh, throughout my career. You know, I've been dealing with injuries and stuff like that, so mainly just being injury-free this year. Yeah. No, for you, you're going to be uh, you're part of a trade that's going to go down in history as a blockbuster for both franchises. So what was your initial reaction to the trade and how do you feel about it today now that you've had some time to think about it more? Yeah, I was definitely shocked at first. Um, not going to lie. I was I was in pretty good standing with the Broncos, but um, I'm excited to where I, where I am now. I think it's it's all meant to be where I'm at. And, um, you know, I was close to coming to Seattle when I was getting drafted. Um, it didn't work out, but I ended up here now. So um, I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be at, and uh, I'm excited to, you know, see what see what the season has to offer and, and we get out there and compete and try to win games. So uh, I think it's going to be really good. Chris, between you, Penny, Kenny Walker, I feel like no team right now might have a deeper running back room. What can fans expect from you guys, and are you personally excited? <laughs> yeah, like you said, we got a deep running back um, yeah, Ken, uh, with Ken coming in, you know what I'm saying, it's just going to add another uh, firepower to us. With Kenny, you know, he's established. He's getting healthy. Uh, it's just, it just gives defenses, you know, a new element to look for, you know what I'm saying? You can't just key on Penny. You can't just key on me. You got a whole bunch of different guys you got to look forward to. And then you got Homer, um, DJ Dallas, and you got a couple, a couple of the other younger guys. So, you know what I mean? It's, it's stacked from head to toe. Um, but I think that's in this day and age and in the game, that's big, you know what I'm saying? It's not just one running back that's taking the load nowadays, you know what I'm saying? You gotta have multiple, so I think it's good. It's a good thing to have. Are you guys gunning for 3,000 rushing yards? <laughs> I mean, if that's possible, yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> just ball out. <laughs> hey, you ain't no problem with that. Noah, I'm curious for you, how does it sit with you knowing that, I know a lot of people are saying the Seahawks are in this rebuild mode now that Russell Wilson, Bobby Wagner are gone. Have you? What do you how do you feel about that? Yeah, no, I don't. I don't view it as that at, at all. Um, you know, being a part of the Broncos, we had a young team, and then coming here, I don't see any difference, right? Like we have a really strong receiver room. We got a good tight end room. We got, a, like you said, one of the best uh, running back rooms in the league. Um, obviously, they vamped up the O line. Um, they got a, a bunch of good O line guys, and then they got. Uh, Drew and uh, Gino both that are competing for that starting role. That's that competition is going to bring out the best of both of them. So I don't see it as that at all. Um, I see a young team that's hungry, that has a lot of really talented players, and uh, that all want to win. I think when you get a, like when you get a bunch of young guys that together that that are all striving for the same thing, that you can take things to a special level, and the city will get behind you. So. Uh, I'm excited to be here and excited to be a part of it. So. You guys are here with us on behalf of USAA. And a part of this project, Chris, you're actually getting Noah acclimated to Seattle, right? Yeah. yeah most OK, so for you, what is it like, OK, these are the things you have to be a part of or you have to experience or know to be considered a true resident of the Pacific Northwest? Uh, one, I would say just get an umbrella for sure. It rains. <laughs> <laughs> <Word>. <laughs> it rains every day, but. Now we took them out to Pike Place, love Catch the Fish. I would say that's probably one big thing that you gotta do to uh, Catch the Fish. Um, and he did it too, he caught the fish, so that's, that's dope. I dropped mine, so. <laughs> so we have a Seattle checklist I'm, I wanna ask you about. I, I'm gonna have to cross off the first one because you said he went fishing. So has he gone to the top of the Space Needle yet? 
Now we went to it. We didn't go to the top. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, how do you try the Seattle dog? And what are your thoughts on like cream cheese on a hot dog? I have I have tried a Seattle dog, and it look it was it's interesting, right? Because it's not like what it's like cream cheese and peppers and. And, and I'll, no, I've actually had it. I, and it, was, it was when I went down to the uh, to like the waterfront uh, with a couple friends and stuff, and I was like, "What? What is the Seattle dog?" And I ordered it blindly, didn't really know, what it was, <laughs> and it had cream cheese and stuff on it. But it wasn't bad. It's it's a different taste, but I like cream cheese, so it was good. It was good. So you can confirm cream cheese and hot dogs does work. No. I, I, I don't know. If it, I don't know if it works. It's it's all right though. It's I don't know if it works though. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, sports fans! If you want to watch more sports seriously, be sure to check out these clips right here, and make sure you're subscribed to the channel to see all the great content from us here at USA Today Sports.